Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. If you're joining for the first time, my name is Onyo Ibel. And today, I'm going to tell you how I applied for Tony the Million Entrepreneurship Program for the very first time in 2021 and won the suit grant. I'm also going to tell you about the foundation and some of the things you need to know before applying for the program. Tony Elimele Entrepreneurship Program is a 10-year, $100 million commitment to identify, trade, mentor, and fund 10,000 entrepreneurs who are capable of changing the face of business across Africa. The founder, Tony Onyemechi Elimele, is a Nigerian economist, entrepreneur, and philanthropist. He is also the chairman of Hair Holdings, United Bank for Africa, and Transcorp. The 2021 beneficiaries of the Illuminati Entrepreneurship Program were selected from a pool of 400,000 applicants based on their performance, innovation, and growth potential to create jobs and eradicate poverty in the continent. The total applicant was 406,257 applicants, of which 206,555 applicants were selected for the mentorship program. Tony and Melu Entrepreneurship Program are focusing more on business ideas and businesses at the early stage. That is why they tell you that they empower businesses not more than three years. That's because they are focusing on businesses in early stage and in IDF stage. In 2021, the, biz, the foundation empowered 59, 58.9 percent of businesses in early stage, 28.9 percent of businesses in infancy, and 12.18 percent of businesses on growth, which tell you that if you intend to win Tony Illumini Foundation, grant in 2022 your business should either be in early stage infancy to within the age of zero to three years or a business idea that is what tony illuminate entrepreneurship program is empowering so if your business is looking for money to boost which means your business has been in place more than five years i don't advise you to apply for Tony Illumina Entrepreneurship Program because they don't give grant to those. And this is a list of business sectors that the program focuses on. In 2021, the, the foundation empowered 39.75% of agriculture, 8.96% of faction, 7.14% in, in food and beverages, 6.08% in IT, 5.22% 5, 5 in commercial and rental, 4.8% education and training, 3.26% manufacturing, 3.16% beauty and wellness, 2.54% healthcare, 2.1% construction, 2.24% professional services, 1.97% media and entertaining, waste management, 1.53%. This is to give you an idea of what and where they are focusing more on. So if you're going for if you're going for any of these sectors, so that you also know which sector you're going for, is it one that is competitive? Or one that is not. So this is to give you an, an idea of what 2021 Tony Illuminati Entrepreneurship Program was all about. And give you also give you an idea of what to have at the back of your mind. Why and when applying for 2022 program. Know your competitors and know the area that you they, that they are focusing more on. But at the moment, Tony Illumina Entrepreneurship Program, because of their partners, are actually favoring women. So congratulations to women. Um, about the application, application assessment is divided into four sections, which is personal details, 
business details, personality question, financial and declaration. The Tony Elimini Entrepreneurship Program is open to Africans across the 54 countries of Africa with a scalable business idea or businesses that has been in operation not more than five years. Businesses that can apply for the program. All businesses that are based in Africa can apply for the program, except research institute, faith-based organization, value-added trading company, government contractors, and businesses not located in Africa. How I applied for Tony Illuminati Foundation in 2021 and won the state grant. First of all, I, I heard about the program from my very close friend. So I went into research. I made research from their website, tried, trying to understand what the program is all about and every single details I could gather concerning the program. The first stage of the program, which is MODU, I paid attention to everything that was taught during the business management training training course and I made sure I scored high in my test in our assessment module assessment which also stands a point so I do advise you if you are applying for for Tony Illumini Foundation pay attention to details study and try to understand don't go applying for the program because you want money of course everybody that is applying for the program wants money but try to understand and, and take something away from everything that is going to be taught during the program. From making your research before applying, try to understand every details about the program, what the program stands for, who is eligible for the program, and what can actually disqualify you from the program too. During the module exercise, we formed a group where we had opportunity to interact with each other and study the modules together. So in this place, I will advise you have a partner. It's very important. It's something that actually helped me during the program. You can choose one or two persons that you feel that their mind is in what they are doing and they have something to actually offer. So I studied together. I had a study group. I studied together with people. I studied together and we wrote the exam together. Luckily for us, because you, if you interact with somebody during a course of learning, it helps you retain some memories about something you learned. So number two thing that helped me was having a reading mate. Somebody I read together with and studied together with during the course of the program. Then number three thing that actually helped me on the course of the program is relating to my coaches and other applicants. Self, we encourage you to interact with other applicants during the program. So that is one of the things that actually helped me because I remember during our business summary, after writing my business summary, I, I sent it to, to my coaches first, actually. I'm coming to the part of you, your relationship with your coach. I sent to my coaches, I sent to my friends, the follow, my fellow applicants that we are actually on the same group, apart from my reading mates, I sent to my reading mates too. They helped me review and pointed out mistakes and places that they felt I should correct on. So having a reading mate is very important and interacting with others during the course of the program. Don't look at it like you people are in competition. Definitely you're in competition, but interacting with people on the group, any group you found yourself, or interacting with people generally that understand what entrepreneurship program is all about is key. The number fourth thing that helped me during this program is listening to my coach and having a close relationship with your coaches. On several occasions, I had to call them up. During the time I'm writing my, my, my business summary, I call them up in different occasions, like asking different questions of which they actually guided me on. They helped in guiding me through the places I felt I was lacking. And that was one of the things that helped me pass. I mean, they've been there for years and they've, they've, they must have come across those topics maybe four to five times 
at the cost of their mentorship, and even though they are also Tony Elmeli alumni. The fifth thing that actually helped me during the program was paying attention to details. Tony Elmeli Entrepreneurship Program is an African program, which means that it has a whole lot of number of persons that apply for the program. Don't expect that that, they are, that the judges are going to be paying 100% attention and give you the whole of three hours to read through your project. And like Mrs. Buku have, have always said during the program, if they give you an instruction to do this, do it. If they ask you, what is your name? Please just go straight to the point and tell them your name. If they ask you, what is your business all about? Don't go telling them story. Be specific about what they ask you and be detailed about what they ask you. That is one of the places that many of my team that I, I knew, they, they lost it. Because they, they will ask you this and you go telling them the whole story that they did not ask you. The judges might not, the judges might not have the time to actually go through that long thing you are, you are saying. But if you go straight to the point on what they ask you, remember, you're not the only one that they are attending to. And many of them have deadlines and they have targets. So go straight to the point and tell them exactly what they are asking you. That is where many of us lost it. We were, they, they want you to be detailed enough. At the same time, if they are telling you how many words to write, it's because they want it as brief as possible. So stick to the point and make sure you hit the point on the name. Be exact and be specific about whatever thing you're saying and whatever thing you're writing. So that is another thing. And there is one thing I must tell you. I'm not a religious person, but this journey, like Mr. Tony Ilumelu will always say, he said, he is a product of luck. I am a product of luck as long as this program is concerned because the other time I was sharing with my group, I knew people that did better than I did during the program and we are not qualified for the program. So I would advise you pray to whatever thing that you serve. Pray to your God for the program and listen to him when he actually speaks to you for this program because you are competing with, to be honest with you, I came across where they say that the foundation is going to be empowering more entrepreneurs, more like never before. Yes. And also have it in the back of your mind that people are going to be applying this year like never before because the publicity has been high. From my own end already, I already know how many persons that have reached out to me, they want to participate in the program. And people that me on my own, I have spoken to and tell them to apply for the program. So in as much as they are going to be empowering more people like never before, the competition is still very high. And I would advise you, if you really want this, to do everything possible to get it. And meanwhile, like I said, it's all about luck. But despite it being about luck, your hard work will pay off. Your determination, your resilience, will pay off if you actually put your mind on it and work very hard for it. From time to time, during the course of the program, because of my team, the people in my group, I will be guiding us from time to time concerning the program, especially once the application phase is over and we move in into the training, the management training. We're going to be hosting trainings on each of the topics and if possible, also have a test exercise among ourselves for each module. About last year, we, we know there were about six modules, five with text, and the other one did not have text. So about this year, I don't know how it's going to be, because last year there, was, there were categories. And this year, I don't think there's anything like categories. I believe everybody's in the same category. So we'll try as much as possible to carry those that we can carry along because we cannot carry everybody along. And meanwhile, I am saying this on this channel, except I, this is um, a free will job that I have taken upon myself to do. And I am not asking anybody for money because 
I am not going to be taking anybody on a special class. When I mean a special class, I know exactly what I'm saying. What I'm trying to say is that I'll try as much as possible to give him my effort in trying to help as much as the person that I can be able to help. But re be rest assured that on this channel, when you come to this channel concerning Tony Elumelu Entrepreneurship Program, you should be able to get everything that is being required at every moment. I'm going to take my time to explain as much as possible that I can explain for every stage of the program. God's willing, if I am not too occupied because I've launched into the market. So we'll have to go and make money and change the course of Africa, right? So I'll try as much as possible to attend every of the webinar that you guys will be having with Mrs. Ibuku if she's the one that will be anchoring in this day, and I hope she is, so that I can be able to explain and guide as many persons that I can be able to guide. Feel free to come to me with, um, I mean, those on my group chat. Feel free to ask me personal questions. Yeah, feel free to ask me personal questions that you do not understand. That is after you must have come to watch the video that I take my time to explain things and you still do not get it, then you can be able to reach out to me privately to ask additional questions because I want to carry everybody along, but at the same time, I cannot be doing that one-on-one. -on -one. It's time taking it to drain my energy and of course, look at it now. If I need to start attending to everybody one one, I might not have to go for my own personal business, which I really have to do too. So we are going to be doing this videos more often, especially once the, the, the program kicks off. See you. So that is it for now. I wish you all the best of luck. And for those in my group, my prayer is that at least let me not be greedy. 95% of everybody in my group should win this seed capital, especially those that, that stayed back after not winning last year and still believed in us that we can actually do this. I want to tell you that we can do this and we can and we will do it. So I'll be here to offer any assistance that I can actually be able to offer. And my prayer and my hope is that at the end of this program, that our efforts will not be a waste. Stay tuned and please remember to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so that you'll be, you'll be notified anytime that I post a video. Maybe you can still watch my Abundance Youth programs, but for this program, stay in touch for Tony Illumini because at the end of Tony Illumini 2022, me, I want to go for Thanksgiving, you know, because I want, to be, I want to see a lot of you out there with a smile rushing to bank and bringing that money back, right? And starting your business too, right? And starting your business. I want to network with a lot of people. And congratulations in advance because I want to see in as much as they are not going to be giving to everybody. But definitely, they are going to be giving to people that really worked hard and committed about this course. And I pray that every one of you listening to me and watching me right now, get this seed grant in 2022.